grill with extra LED front lights. Immaculate wheels all round, all showing about 6mm. Very good. Upgrade air built. Nice wheel again. Twin exhaust and upgrade rear lights. Sony CD changer, 10 disc. Head gasket done 20 or 30 thousand miles ago. No sign of oil contamination in water and no sign of water contamination in oil. I think the last customer was even. Right, now to a few of the bad bits that I found. Tiny little bit of surface rust around to the front side indicator. Oh, being super, super fussy, a tiny little bit on the near side rear wheel arch. A little bit more on this rear wheel arch. You probably wouldn't do that or get it professionally done or I could get a quote before delivery and again around this indicator same goes at the price advertised that stays on it or I could get a quote to get that done before delivery they've even gone to the expense of having a genuine NG wind breaker which is quite nice on the roof at high speed with no wind buffeting Again, the hard top has been on most of the time as you can see, there's no discolouring to the rear perspex. The zip, again this zips off under here, no tears or rips anywhere. Inside, underneath the genuine mats, carpets are like brand new. Face off top of the range Sony multi change CD changer and cassette player if you're old enough to own some cassette players. Again, the roof is very easy to attach, just one clamp there and one clamp there. Immobiliser, start the engine. All the lights go out as they should. Electric window going up. Driver's electric window operation. Oh, that sounds like a little bit squeaky. Perhaps a bit of WD-40. We're missing a cigarette lighter. But there's no sign that it's been smoked in. Locking wheel nut. Two sets of keys and two fobs. Cup holders. Glove box. All in all, a very, very nice example of a 1997 MGTF. Enjoy the summer for low money.